YouTube live so today we are going to create kind of RESTful API with the Swagger implementation using Spring Boot and Hibernate I'm going to use MySQL as a backend with a docker so let's deep dive into it so first of all if you haven't uh, installed VS Core code uh, already so you can grab your package from here code.visualstudio.com this is very lightweight lots of folks are using it you can use any editor by the way there is no barrier to use specific editor IntelliJ, STS, Eclipse, whatever it may be, it's all up to you guys. After that, open your terminal. You have to have Java installed on your system. So currently, I'm using Java hyphen version. You will get your current uh, JDK version over here. Currently, I'm using 14. You can use any version above 8 actually. So that's it for now. Now open your code. VS Code. Uh, and create new folder on your desktop name it whatever it may be uh, I'm going to use a swagger I'm I'm creating swagger it is tool API so first of all you have to install few plugins from here search for Java and uh, you will get this Java extension pack over here this one so you have to install this this is a combination of uh, six packages uh, that are essential for using Java and VS Code. So Microsoft is working on these plugins uh, to to uh, to make uh, VS Code compatible with Java. So uh, now the next thing is search for Spring. Hit enter and you will get this thing Spring Boot Extension Pack over here. And this is uh, I highly recommend you guys to use this thing. This is combination of another five extensions. To, so total we need. Uh, 11 extensions and the last ex extension is search for Lombok. I'm going to use Lombok. Okay, if you want to work with Lombok, uh, so this thing you have to install this. Okay, if you don't know about Lombok, uh, you have to know this search for Lombok project Lombok and project Lombok.org. And uh, if you are working on Eclipse or IntelliJ. Or whatever it may be you have to install this plugin first for your dedicated uh, id so this is available for v vs code jboss spring tool okay that's it so now after that close this up and click here on view command platter and search for maven okay and uh, sorry spring spring initializer I need to create new project so generate a new project click here select your version currently I'm using Java Let's click here and choose your group ID my group ID is io.mahesh hit enter now your artifact ID is uh, rest because wave actually whatever it may be no matter and now select your version so currently I'm using this uh, the current version is this and now you have to choose uh, the dependencies this is same like we used to work on start.spring.io but this is very simple so search for web spring web this thing click here uh, the another dependency is mysql hit enter now gpa hit enter the last thing is lombok it makes sense to work with lombok uh, so you don't need to use getters and setters anymore so that's it now select here selected four dependencies hit enter uh, it will ask for the location desktop swagger uh, whatever the folder you want to where you wherever you want to install generate into this folder now you will get this open click here okay everything is all right guys you are uh, this little icon is installing the dependencies that are available you you just wanted to install like mysql and all so it will take some time for the first time it's completely fine now the next thing is it will pop up okay this uh, thing you have to choose exclude in workspace okay choose this thing that's it you will get this folder vs code okay now the next thing is you have to choose you have to install uh, docker first I'm going to use docker for installing mysql you can use you can directly install mysql on your uh, system or you can use uh, your XAMPP or WAMP whatever it may be there are lots of other ways but docker makes sense so uh, hit enter 
and you have to install docker first for your system so for docker for mac or for windows search for your system and hit enter on here download from docker hub okay it will uh, so you will get your dmg or exe file over here after that you have to start docker manually and you will get this little icon over here if you are working on mac and otherwise it will uh, if you are on windows uh, it will somewhere here okay that's it it will take some time to uh, get started okay that's it now i have to open your terminal and uh, search form docker hyphen hyphen version so you will get your current docker version over here it means docker is available inside your system so now we can install mysql with the help of docker so docker pull mysql enter it will take some time it's installing the image of mysql inside your system after that we can create container of that particular image so i got so now docker images search for docker images you will get this thing okay docker images so i got this mysql it will take some time okay guys i already have it now the thing is you have to create container so docker hyphen hyphen name you have to provide name like my uh, database okay my database the next thing is you have to provide uh, the detach mode and publish port whatever you want to like 3306 is my port and i have to publish this on 3306 the next thing choose your um, what environment variable the password mysql root password root password will be my password and the next thing you have to make sure that this password will be your password for your mysql container and the next thing is mysql database so you don't need to create database manually okay database the name of your database my what is that the rest whatever it may be i don't care rest is better i guess rest enter um my db is better actually my db okay hit enter i i made few mistake extremely sorry uh you have to provide the name of your image okay so this is my image that i just downloaded from docker hub so now hit enter what happened what happened i made mistake i guess okay my skill root password detach mode name everything is all right what the mistake i have made uh docker command help docker run actually sorry guys you have to use docker run extremely sorry for that docker run hyphen hyphen name your database so okay it's working now search for docker ps and you will get this thing so this is five second ago i got this is running inside my system so you can use anything like table plus my my school bench or whatever it may be table plus is my personal favorite table plus.com you can download this thing from here so you will get this ui for your look so you can see what you are working with so the ui tabular ui format i'm not going to use this i don't need anymore so the next thing is uh, inside here main java create your bin or pojo whatever it may be you can create packages over here this is very big enough friendly video so i'm not going to create packages another thing is user repository dot java and the last thing is you have to create controller dot java you can create packages uh, and services if you want to inside resources you have to define this spring dot data source dot username for your that mysql container the next thing is spring dot data source or uh, dot your password 
uh, will be my password that I just use you have to remember this thing and spring dot data what was that dot data source dot URL uh, so my URL is jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash local host colon 3306 is default port for mysql slash my name of my db is my db and the last thing is actually the very first thing is uh, spring dot data source dot uh, driver class name is mysql dot no sorry com dot my sql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver i guess okay driver but d is capital so that's it for now the last thing is spring dot gpa dot hibernate dot uh, what was that ddl auto equal to update it should be in update mode that's it now inside here you have to create pojo so i have to define entity over here enter now it will automatically import packages for you if you have this extension pack available so the next thing is data we are using lombok so that's why you have to import this extension of lombok and the next thing is id enter from java java x persistent gpa it will import id and uh, uh, generated value so it will be auto on auto increment mode and the next thing is private int id private string name private string email private or uh, wait private string password that's it and uh, that's it that's it for now i guess after that you have to save this thing uh, inside user repository uh, this is interface and to extend this thing from a gpa gpa repository enter it will import this thing from spring framework and you have to choose your name of your schema or whatever it may be pojo or integer the first thing id is a type of integer so you have to define this thing over here that's it for now i guess you have to define repository enter so that's it this is perfectly fine now inside controller rest controller hit enter so it will import this thing okay the next thing is you can use request mapping if you want to you have to actually because we are working on swagger so api hit enter now inside here you have to define this auto wired so we can connect this thing with my private user repository hit enter user repository so each time when you get suggestion you have to hit enter so it will automatically import this thing so here otherwise you have to type this manually okay now the next thing is at git mapping hit enter the path slash and public method will be my return type will be list type list of user for the first time okay 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 sorry if you see this choose this on uh, java util okay return type will be list of users so you can provide any name over here there is no barrier list of users okay in return will provide the uh, what was that a uh, user repository dot find all method it will find all the users or all the entities that are available inside your table the next thing is gate for particular 
user so you have to provide id in path this is my path okay so here again i have to define public method which will return a single user this time and here get that particular user and here i have to define something like path variable is coming so path variable hit enter okay will be type of integer hit enter again int so in return now this time you have to return user repository dot find by id find by id but if you don't get users or else what where is it actually find by id okay dot or i'm not getting suggestion ELSC else i made mistake okay it's fine this is id okay okay i got this or else id so if you don't see suggestion it means you made mistake so this is perfect why this is not working you will get this yellow bulb over here change or else get or else change the type of id to user where is that no no this is perfectly fine everything is fine or else null actually okay error is gone extremely sorry for that now post user now this time i have to pass request body request body hit enter will be type of user and inside here again the public method will be uh, it will return the re user so name of method is post user so here no not here actually this is you have to pass this over here there is a path okay i always get confused over here so return type will be user so post user you have to import this post mapping this is not post user this is post mapping enter and here you have to return user repository dot save that particular user that you just got over here by request body the next thing is put method actually put is very similar to put mapping enter you know you can pass id over here if you want to i'm not going to pass id because we generally get this from user okay this time again we'll return user and name will be my put user this time okay again request body hit enter user and type user this is my old new user actually it's completely fine first of all we have to find that particular user so again the process is simple choose this line copy this thing paste it over here you will get your old user over here you can use validations if you want to i'm not going to use validation because this is very big enough friendly video so user dot get id that's it i got my id now you have to return in return i'll i'll make uh changes in user registry so dot save the old user why i'm not getting suggestion okay this is old old user so now this is perfect but before saving it in meanwhile i have to make things perfect like old user dot set name and here user dot get name user dot get name so that's it now this is for the rest of all email this is general example that i'm not going to decrypt password you can use hashing and all 
it's all up to you guys you have to actually so this is ready the put method is ready now the next thing is add delete mapping and here you have to pass your id and id is this now again the public method will be it will return integer this time integer means id of that particular user so this time you have to pass path variable over here will be type of integer id okay so this time user registry dot delete user by id hit enter and pass your id over here in return you can pass your id if you want to so okay but uh, in practical we generally use uh, this thing uh, to check that if the user is available inside database otherwise we will do this otherwise bad request the validation you have to do it on yourself okay that's it for now so now the last thing uh, is uh, open this pong file and you have to use add dependencies so search for maven add dependency this link click here select your project search for spring fox swagger swagger 2 actually so okay hit enter you will get this the very first suggestion this thing click here and it will automatically available over here so you don't have to type this manually 2.9.2 select this version okay guys 2.9.2 make sure that you have to use this version okay now and the next thing is view command platter again add dependency and now this time again choose project your project web and paste this over here now this time spring fox hyphen swagger enter and this thing where is that swagger ui this thing spring fox hyphen swagger hyphen ui and you will get this thing again now change your version 2.9.2 they have made some changes in 3.00 so again select here now you have to choose always over here so you don't have to choose manually now every time but this is uh, okay choose now so you you can see this icon spinning over here so that's it for now now again uh, select your demo application inside debug I run this thing I guess okay here we go and now uh, before that I made a mistake okay if everything is all right you will open your safari search for localhost colon 8080 you will get this white table page and if you search for localhost colon 8080 slash api you will get again white page because we are making mistake actually so if you have this thing available what is spring dashboard this thing spring boot dashboard so enable this thing means you already have it don't worry about it reload the page i forgot to enable this thing so you can get uh, this thing over here spring boot dashboard over here and you will get uh, the list of projects that are available here so i'm not getting suggestion it's completely fine close everything everything is ready to use except this thing you have to pass at enable swagger 2 i guess swagger to hit enter 
so swagger is swagger is ready to use and now you can see this little web folder over here select this thing click on this start thing and we are good to go guys so here we go so it's running you can see this bluish text over here in debug console so it's running it will take some time now for installing dependencies that we just got and now this time when i use slash api localhost colon 880 slash api so i got nothing again hit enter slash swagger hit enter i got nothing i don't know why but it's completely fine i made some mistake i guess inside debug you can see this thing demo application over here you have to choose this thing okay now now check this out stop this thing manually okay now you have to choose this thing spring boot demo application web okay guys you have to choose this thing manually so now when i run this thing it's not detecting my controller over here that request mapping that's why i'm getting trouble while using it so it's fine okay okay it's fine So you have to use localhost colon 8080 slash api slash make sure to use slash at the end of this statement and the next thing is swagger so uh, before that you have to use localhost colon 8080 slash v2 slash api dash talks so you will get this thing the json file about swagger so this is working perfectly fine but when I use API slash swagger I guess no slash swagger UI dot HTML so you will get this thing the beautiful UI of swagger so here check this out you will get this all the end point points over here if you select this thing get try it out so you don't need to use postman now so execute this thing you will get this empty response body over here because i got nothing inside my table for now if you want to post something select this thing try this out uh, your email enter your email here mahesh at gmail.com this is not my official email my official email is maheshkari at gmail.com my name is mahesh my password is again mahesh123 mahesh123 you will get trouble while using in debug mode to debug this thing you have to debug this thing very carefully okay uh, that's it for now and now click here on execute you will see this thing okay so it's working right now so my post method is working now the next time when you hit here on execute you will you will get this thing inside your array the single entity if you want to get that particular id try this out enter the id you will get the single entity over here if you want to put data select here this time you have to pa pass id 1 and change this thing ok now hit enter I am not going to use this thing ok I got my changes you can see here and the last thing is if you want to delete this thing 
just try this out enter id execute this thing and here we go we got in response body the integer as we mentioned over here and when you execute the gate method i got response body as usual empty so i hope you found this video helpful guys if you like this video please subscribe my channel check out more videos and if you like this video uh, let me know inside comment box what you want from me what i can improve in my video so uh, thank you very much guys for being with me supporting me all the time